Outlining his vision, Baltimore City Police Commissioner Michael Harrison has released a new crime plan for the department. WJZ is live. Paul Gessler was in police headquarters where Harrison stressed the importance of pulling from other departments. Paul. Hi, Vic. Yeah, you know, anytime you'd ask the commissioner a question on policy since he arrived here, the, the answer almost always included the term best practices, what's working nationwide. Well, in the strategic vision and crime plan, it clearly mirrors that. Four months into his role, police commissioner Michael Harrison has released the department's crime plan and strategic vision. They could immediately see more foot patrols. They could immediately see more engagement, more enforcement and more enforcement where it needs to be. BPD is embracing data-driven policing here in its crime plan, looking at days and times of day. For instance, here in the Western District, Sundays at 5 p.m. are the most violent hour here, with 22 homicides, shootings, and robberies just in that one hour of the week. We need to consider not just where crime is occurring, but when it is happening. How to use data data on how we're going to go out and fight crime is something that has been lacking in the police department, something we've been calling for, and those are very important. We also got our first look at maps of the department's so-called microzones, pockets representing 5% of the city's area. Police say is responsible for a third of the city's gun-related crime. BPD last month changed its patrol strategy to spend more time in these areas. Having worked with five police commissioners in three years and three mayoral administrations, I'm incredibly encouraged. In the department's five-year plan, police want to improve their relationship with the state's attorney's office, adding a data analyst to the SAO staff to provide feedback on building cases. Go through it uh, and basically say, you know, this is the problem that we're seeing when it comes to having to know pros or to dismiss these types of cases. So that the state's attorney's prosecutors can be better and so that the, the police department's office is going to be better. Back live now here outside city police headquarters. Now the department has a new performance goal as well of 10 minutes or less on their response time of emergencies. Coming up at 5, hear from the commissioner about retaining and recruiting officers and whether he has a magic number for how many the department needs. To read more on these plans, we've made them available to read for you on WJZ.com. For now, we are reporting live outside city police headquarters. I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.